Coop Sheet Metal, we believe our job is very essential in serving our customers. And that is just one reason why visiting us is an experience to be remembered. Here at Coop Sheet Metal, we have a reliable fleet of trucks. We specialize in countrywide delivery of all our material. Coop Sheet Metal is a family business that was started by my grandfather, who even had many of his machines hand built decades ago to make our products the most reliable in Belize. Come visit us at our new facility on Iguana Creek Road, just past the Belize River, leading to Spanish Lookout. I chose Galen because of its strong reputation, great scholarships. I came because I can take all my classes online. Because Galen University opens doors to the outside world, their course offering in tourism. It gives me more opportunity to become who I want to be. If you want to connect with your inner champion to make the world a better place, then Galen is right for you. Did you know that with the advancement in medical treatments, you have a greater chance of surviving a critical illness? But these treatments can be quite expensive and lengthy, resulting in significant financial loss. But with a surgical plan, we can help you to focus more on your recovery and not your finances. I had a really good time tonight. So did I. Life moves fast. Be prepared with Sagicor. Learn more at sagicorlife.com. Good morning and welcome to Morning Matters. This morning we have made our way to the Placencia. This is just one of the resorts that's definitely adding value in this, uh, in this time. They have definitely reduced their rates and their quality remains the same. So now as Belizeans, we can enjoy a good time for as long a time as you want. But tell us a little bit about it is Leticia. Uh, she's the manager right here at the Placencia. Leticia, good morning and welcome. Hi, good morning, Rhonda. Welcome to the Placencia. Good morning, Belize and beyond. I'm happy to have you here. Finally, I get to put a face to the voice that I've always heard over the radio. And it's so <laughs> nice having you here. Thank you so much. It's nice being here. Before we get into all the perks that uh, the Placencia has to offer, let's learn a little bit about you because without good people, Good places don't exist. So let's find out a little bit about you, Leticia. I'm a Belizean born and grown in Santa Elena, Ohio. Spent most part of my life in Financio University of Belize. Um, worked all my years in Belopen and moved recently in Placencia for two years. Since then, I've been working here at the resort for a moving of property in Placencia. Well, good. A lot of people may be of the impression that you know what I can't afford to go to the Placencia. When you walk out, when you pass it, it's quite a it's a beautiful space, and people have associate this kind of beauty with high cost, but that's not the case. That is so true. I'm happy to say that all year long we have rates for Belizeans. We've been having very low rates, which many Belizeans have taken advantage, and of course through this COVID. Here that we are going, we also extend more Belizean rates for the Belizean public to enjoy. Currently, we have um, four rates: a rate starting from 165 for a master beachfront, 165 for a panoramic view, a two-bedroom that's 309, and a three bedrooms at 385, all in Belize dollars. Well, that is good. Um, now that we know the price, we know that you can afford it because we saw that a few weeks ago the Placencia was full. The Placencia is full because you have a nice place. You have the biggest pool on the peninsula. Tell me about that. We opened our doors last week, Thursday. We decided that we were only going to be open for the weekend. 
but because of the mom is there, we decided to remain open seven days a week. And it's true that to say we both have the biggest full inner peninsula and we have it open right now currently for guests but when we're in open normal operation it is also for the public oh good so tell me about some of the amenities that you have at the placencia well there's so many well we have um so many beach amenities that you can take advantage if you want to have fun in the sun we have kayaks we have paddle boards we have volleyball we have the big jenga um games by the beach side and you can basically just relax on wine sit by the sumo bar take a drink or if it's something that you just want to be in quiet peace tranquility you can go under a coconut tree and read a book when people come as well besides the the room people come for the food we come for the food we come for the massages we come to pamper ourselves tell us a little bit about that certainly we both say we have three restaurants but because of this covid um crisis that we're in right now and following our government regulations we are doing outdoor dining so we have beach areas whereby we have tables set up to have dinner a romantic dinner if that's what you wish or you want to sit at the pier and you can also have dinner there but most of the mornings we serve at the pool and at the back around of the terrace not only that you can sit in your room and your breakfast will come to your door that is so true and we have room service just a call away and this costs nothing more and this doesn't come with an extra cost of course not. that is good to know so we can sleep in a little bit longer and uh, our food will come right to the door this is something that definitely you have to experience at least once or twice but it is one of the luxuries that comes with these rooms you also have a beautiful swimming area and i can swim up to the bar and get my drink i swim up to the bar and get your drink and enjoy the company of the bartender with all the nice music all right so tell me about the massage well right now what we currently have is a masseuse on call you can have your masseuse give you a massage at the beach palapa or you can go upstairs at our spa you can have a half an hour, you can have an hour session, it's all up to you. And again, talking about room service, if you want it to be done in your bedroom, that can also be arranged. I mean, could you imagine that? You can get everything at your fingertips. Um, let's talk a little bit about the booking process. Um, well, locals can reach and book rooms with us through our line. Our telephone number is 533-4110. They can send us a message in Messenger or Facebook. We have somebody who is there responding to all your inquiries. Or you can send us an email at theplacentia.com. Or feel free to visit our website, www.theplacentia.com. Great. And um, do you have any tours? Currently, we have shortened the list of tours. We are just uh, able to book tours to nearby areas for example horseback riding tubing zip lining and if we have a group that does want to do a one day land excursion we have one of the whereby we can plan that for you as well when we eat here we eat good food and we know this because you have an organic garden talk to us a little bit about that yes i'm so happy to say that we've been working very hard in our organic garden it's something very small that we started since last year but we are happy to say that the chef directly picks all his vegetables and fruits from the garden. So it comes from the garden to your table. I mean, that kind of service is just outstanding. <clears throat> um, you gave the rates earlier, but talk, let's talk about the occupancy. Is this a place that is um, child friendly? It's definitely child friendly. We offer, if it's in the case whereby parents are bringing their children, we will gather that information to find out what will be the age range. If it's that they need a crib, we also accommodate you with a crib free of charge. Kids below five, there is no charge. If it's the case whereby you have a teenager and you're requesting an extra bed, then that just come with the charge of $35. So if you have a child that does not require an extra bed, you that child can stay for free. Definitely. Okay, um, how many rooms do you have? 
and we have 90 rooms we can hold up to 180 guests at one time and how many people are for the 165 dollars are allowed to be in the room being that it's a double bed it's two persons per room and of course if you bring a child a toddler then of course that's a third person in the room we know that the moyo uno brand has several properties this is just one of the properties that you have um hopefully we would visit those properties as well but additional to that tell us um if you have the same specials at these properties for the ones that are open most definitely we have two i have two other sister resorts that is open at this moment that is Risa Oceano that's within Placencia, the village itself, the Placencia Port and Hopkins Bay, and they're also offering attractive buildings and rates at this time. What separates the Placencia from other, other similar spaces and places? Okay, that's very easy. Um, like I said, we post about three different restaurants. We have the biggest pool in the peninsula and one of the biggest pool in Belize. We have a marina, biggest of its kind in this area. We have a tennis court and we have a gym. So if you feel guilty about sleeping late and eating all the food, you can do the workout in the gym. Um, and the staff, the staff are so very friendly, hardworking, very dedicated, and they enjoy meeting guests and they make sure from the moment they check in to they check out that they have the best service. Another thing which differentiates us from other resorts is that we celebrate culture. We're all about celebrating Belize culture. So weekly we would have a cultural night whereby we would have, like, for example, a American night, a drumming night, and we will also have Mestiza night. I know it's a little bit slow, but believe it or not, we do have requests for the drums being played by the beach which we will then do that by a bonfire. This is definitely the place for you to come and enjoy yourself. For the people that may have interest in the gym, tell us what's inside of the gym, what kind of equipment is in there so that they can know how to pack. It's a small gym, but it does have our treadmills, our weights, our bicycles. I um, mean, if you're there to do a little yoga and you choose to do it in the gym or you want to do it outside by the beach, you have all the yoga mats, all accessible for you. Good. I like the fact that you have, you, you can choose the kind of day you will have at the Placencia. So you can decide if you want to stay in and eat breakfast and read your book on, uh, on the beach or whatever. But if you want to be a little bit more active, you also have paddle boards and kayaks. Talk to us a little bit about that. We have paddle boards and kayaks. We also have life vests and we have a certified um, pool attendant who will be there to guide you and to show you how to go about using equipment. If you want to take a bike stroll nearby Maya Beach, you can also hop on one of the bikes and go visit a local grocery store or just go about putting a little bit of exercise. So, that is available as well. Leticia, I, this is a time when people are cutting back on everything. People are cutting back on their staff, but we have to say that we are, and I say we as, as, as a community, are grateful that resorts like these are opening, that you are stimulating the economy and the interest at some degree, and you're putting people back to work. Um, how is that process going for you? Well, to be honest, my staff count has increased since we opened. Like I said, the demand is there. So I was happy to bring more staff on board. And hopefully as things pick up and the demand continues to increase, I'll be able to bring more and more staff. What I do is I rotate my staff. So every two weeks, I will bring a new set of staff so that everybody gets the opportunity to work and make some days of work. It's important for us to support these kind of businesses. Anything else you'd like to add? I just want to encourage all Belizeans to book, to book now. I know through COVID there are probably were special anniversaries, birthdays, that everybody couldn't really do much in going outdoors, but this is the time for them to call and book. Let us know what you want to celebrate. We want to make sure we have it all work out for you. If it's an anniversary, we can do a romantic dinner by the beach. If it's something that you want to go top notch, then we can come up with a package 
for you as well. I mean, there's something for everybody and for everybody to take advantage of. This is the time to travel and to get to enjoy our country. Describe what's in the rooms for me. Okay, the rooms has um, free Wi-Fi, television, it's air condition. They have comfy big mattress to have you lie down and enjoy and get your rest. Um, like I said, in master rooms, there is a small kitchen area if it's that you want to cook your own food or you are on a particular diet that you want to prepare your food, you have your own kitchen area, microwave or refrigerator, um, toaster, blender, all those electrical appliances are there. We also have room with jacuzzi and uh, a balcony, a balcony like this that you will wake up and see a beautiful sunrise. Leticia, I say thank you. Let's hope that the people start moving. Uh, there is lots of opportunity right now for you to, I mean, I know you've been locked up a long time for a long time. This is your time to get out. Like we would say, break out and come and have a good time. The Placencia is waiting for you. Their rates are exceptional and they have everything you want. I mean, everything you can think of is at the Placencia. Leticia, again, I say thank you. Thank you, Ryan. Here at Coop Sheet Metal, we believe our job is very essential in serving our customers. And that is just one reason why visiting us is an experience to be remembered. Here at Coop Sheet Metal, we have a reliable fleet of trucks. We specialize in countrywide delivery of all our material. <music> Sheet Metal is a family business that was started by my grandfather, who even had many of his machines hand-built decades ago to make our products the most reliable in Belize. Come visit us at our new facility on Iguana Creek Road, just past the Belize River, leading to Spanish Lookout. I choose Happy Cow Cheese because of its perfect portion sizes, and I can travel with it. Because it's nice and soft and creamy and it goes smooth by your bread. I choose Happy Cow Cheese because I eat it with my beans. I eat it with my fried jack. And you know why? Because it's nice. Most of all, when you're on the plane, you know they only give you some crackers and you can just take one out and enjoy it with Happy Cow Cheese. I'm Miss Baker and I choose Happy Cow Cheese because it goes well with all the stuff I bake. Happy Cow Cheese. Look for it in a store near you. Distributed in Belize exclusively by Emilio Ahmad and Sons Limited. Hello guys, welcome to Friends of Friends. Friends of Friends Outback. It's the ideal meeting place for any and everyone that's looking to enjoy a great mix of indoor and outdoor comfort while sipping on your favorite drink or eating that tasty meal. They serve all the best in local and international dishes. On Thursdays, it's Mexican night, happy hour all weekend, Fridays, it's wine and dine. On Saturdays, come relax with karaoke tunes, and Sunday is family fun day. The property is equipped with games and other activities to keep everyone entertained and engaged. Friends of Friends also caters to weddings, conferences, and private parties. Visit Friends of Friends at 46 Udrop Estate. Follow the signs from Mat 11 .5 Northern Highway. Friends of Friends Outback, a walking piece of heaven. P-Tech has been in Belize now for more than six years. We specialize in residential and industrial high quality glass windows and doors. I'm Melvin Reimer from Discount Auto Sales. I chose P-Tech windows because I'm quite impressed about the way they're manufactured. These are double pane glasses. They're called low E that keeps out a lot of the heat. Check us out at p-tek.com or give us a call at 671-3842. Me and my Murray shops in In Lake. Me and my Marie Sharp in Indiana. I'm in Rodonda Beach, California with my Marie Sharp. Me and my Marie Sharp in Kabul, Afghanistan. Me and my Marie Sharp that are hard for your England. Me and my Marie Sharps in Taipei, Taiwan. Marie Sharp, world class products produced in Belize. At West Track Belize City, we are looking to help you save both your time and money. We've also improved our stock levels to ensure we have everything you might need for your automotive or agricultural needs. Additionally, West Track has added heavy duty and industrial parts to keep your trucks and equipment running. 
At West Track Belize City, we understand that your time is important, so we want to bring our services to you at your convenience. Now you can simply send us a message on WhatsApp or Facebook and we will be right there to help with any questions you may have. New Buildings Limited is the company of choice when it comes to design, fabricating, and erection of wide-span metal buildings in Belize. At New Buildings, we have a team of well-trained professionals that can produce the most innovative and durable metal structures. Be it domestic or industrial buildings, we can get it done for you. We have put together some of the most outstanding metal structures in the country. We also do estimates and consulting. Visit new buildings in Spanish Lookout or give them a call at 631-8723 or 610-5185. New Buildings Limited, the experts when it comes to metal structures in Belize. <music> and ticks are the worst enemies for dogs and their owners. With NextGuard, you have the weapons to fight effectively. NextGuard is an FDA-approved flea and tick killer in a beef-flavored soft chew. It is manufactured by the same makers of Frontline Plus. NextGuard offers safe and effective protection against flea and tick infestation for at least 30 days. The delicious beef-flavored chew makes it easy to administer to your dog. NextGuard is designed to treat and prevent flea infestations and to treat and control ticks in dogs and puppies 8 weeks of age and older. Next Guard is available in 4 sizes of beef flavored soft chewables. Each size is color coded and contains 3 tablets. Available at Rhymer's Feed Mill countrywide. Visit us at your local branch, Rhymer's Feed Mill, where growing believes. Did you know that it's best to keep the lumber stored in a dry place? At KT Enterprises, all our wood is stored in an enclosed space. To provide our clients with the highest quality, we allow you to personally select your lumber if you choose, and we deliver countrywide. Be it deck board, beams, and imported hardwood such as red oak and white ash. At KT Enterprises, we provide you with the highest grade in treated pine, construction grade plywood, and imported hardwood. Delivered to your door. We continue to build Belize by reforesting its pine forest. Visit us today at 2.3 miles Iguana Creek Road or give us a call at 671-0114 or 672-0114. Welcome back to Morning Matters. This time we've made our way to Hopkins Bay. Why? Because we want to show you the diversity that exists and the options that exist for you to travel in this part of the country. Our guest now is Tiafalos. Theophilus is the general manager of Hopkins Bay. Theophilus, good morning and welcome. Good morning. Tio, I'm hoping that that's okay to call you since everybody else around here call you Tio. No problem, our uncle, our Tio's. <laughs> <laughs> Tio, um, tell me a little bit about you as the general manager. And I always ask that because I think it's important for people to see the people and learn a little about the people uh, controlling these amazing spaces. Right. Well, myself uh, as a GM, the general manager is just an occupation name that I get, right? Um, I don't, but I'm just regular, like the normal stuff. Um, I'll do whatever it takes. If I need to do housekeeping with my staff, I will do that with maintenance, or fix or check out the ESC or any complaint, I fall under it. So I'm not just a general manager. If I need to hold up for any front desk or anybody else that on the property that gets sick or anything like that, um, I was the option um, or the person I always take over for, especially at these times when we're cutting down on stuff. Tell me a little bit about Hopkins Bay. Hopkins Bay is one of these spaces that when you when you come to it, you experience something like you've never experienced before. So tell me on the overview of Hopkins Bay. Well, Hopkins Bay consists of 19 buildings. The, all of them are facing the ocean, uh, especially the upstairs. Um, also, the way how they are designed, it gives you a perfect view of the entire um, property, no matter which um, you're in the back villa or the front villa. The um, difference is more mainly the ones on the beach, which are right on the beach. It feels like water is up your doorstep. Um, but we have uh, two gigantic pools, so we can definitely, if you want a more private, swimming era, you can go in the other pool and you can enjoy a nice private swimming. Um, 
Also, we offer uh, maintenance such as the kayaks, polo boards. We got bicycles, free of use. Um, and uh, if you want a quick little tour, then we can always do that for you. All the times when people think of these places, they think that it is out of their reach in terms of budget. Assure them that that's not the case. Well, Hopkins Bay in a whole, uh, we cater for everyone. This is not just for our um, US guests or European guests, no. I don't want nobody to get the wrong impression or the or a confusion of how it's a resort or it's only for Americans now. We cater for our locals, um, despite the race, we will treat everybody the same. So um, it's very affordable, you can come and spend a weekend with us, um, and the rates are very, very low right now. Tell me the rates, everybody's sitting down thinking, what are the rates, what are the rates? All right. For example, I started at one bedroom, we have 165 um, Belize dollars. Um, one, uh, two is the two bedroom, which is 309. And three bedroom includes the kitchen in the middle, uh, fully equipped, uh, which is 395. And for the month of June, just remember, we're not adding hotel taxes, so the taxes are a little less compared to other months. Do we need to book way in advance or can I call tonight for tomorrow if there's availability? There's, uh, there's availability, you can always call the night before. We get your room ready, check-in time. If you want to just let us know if you want the early check-in and then we can definitely get that going for you. Tell me about the setup of the rooms. What do the rooms, the basic room has? The basic of the rooms, um, the upstairs units are fully equipped with a refrigerator. Um, a nice thing bed, a pull out food done, uh, full bath, um, front and back the um, porches that you can always enjoy the view, sunset or sunrise, um, internet access, all of them are air conditioned. Downstairs units, um, there's two rooms on each wing. The, we have a king bed as well that has a pull out food done, um, the small bed that we have a queen bed. But um, the way how we sell the rooms is by, um, if you book the two bedroom, it includes a kitchen. That has all the stuff you will find in a kitchen. Um, sometimes we always sell our guests upon check-in. If there's anything that you need, please just let us know. Some of the stuff are upon your face, especially at these times, when you have to do a lot of disinfecting. We have to pull out stuff and we enter them back because we do a um, complete clean out of the room. I like that you say that because um Sometimes we may take it for granted that, oh, you don't have to, if, if they never use it, like, like let's say the microwave or the, the iron, these are things that your hands will touch all the time. Um, so you're telling me that you sterilize and sanitize everything in the room when the guests check out. Especially at this time, we have to. Um, every, as minute the guests check out, we disinfect it. We have a chemical that we use, uh, which is being provided by uh, the medical teams that in Belize that they're using as well. Uh, it takes 10 minutes for it to be completely synthetic in the room and it has to be locked on for 10 minutes which from doors right down to the beds anything that you put your hands on and the restrooms that is good information now tell me about your policy where it ha where it comes to children so how many people in the room and who gets charged for and who doesn't get charged for well at this time because of um we want to keep it very um not too strict rules but we do have a maximum of uh, two adults, upstairs units, or a one bedroom, I should call it. Two adults, two kids. Can fit, fit comfortably in one bedroom upstairs. Um, as long as the child is uh, over 13, you will be charged for it. But below 13, we don't charge for any kids. So I should say kids overall below 13 are free to stay. These days are not normal days, so your opening hours stagger a little. Yes. Um, our opening days, I yes. just start with, which is on Thursdays, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Opening hours, um, our, it's 6 to 5 p.m. Um, we do have a time on our Facebook, up to 7, meaning that if you want a room at last minute and my front desk leads, then we can, as long as it's before 7, we can definitely give you a room. Excellent. You say that children over 13 pay. So they pay for 
the rate of an adult then once they're over 13 or is there just a standard charge a flat charge that comes for a no we don't have a flat charge okay so it's not the entire adult price so essentially when you get a room the room can hold three or four people maybe like you said two adults and um and their two children if they have and that is for 165 if the children are on the 13 165 years old. without taxes because we do offer uh, we do offer a resort fee which is the 15 percent so 165 will be like around 180 185 with the 15 percent well that is good you also have tours yes ma'am um, we don't do all the major tours that we normally offer on our normal days, but if you um, you want us to schedule a, a small rib trip or a small fishing trip, we can definitely do that. You also have like the paddle boards and the kayaks that people can use, and those are free. Tell me a little bit about those. All right, so like um, the paddle boards and kayaks, you can use them anytime, um, except at night. You can just sign them up at front desk, tell them um, our front desk supervisor you want to use them free of charge. We have them right on the beach on our rock. You can just pick them up. I'll have the nice beautiful ocean in front of us so you can always pick them. And especially on a calm day, there's manatees rolling out there. There's tarpons by the pier that you can always um, see. Enjoy a nice paddling or even a paddle board on a nice food day. Do you have any specials on food? Yes, we do have. The minute you book with us, you get 20% off your meals and 20% off your non-alcoholic beverages. Good. And I can sit in my room and get my food delivered to my room if I like? Upon request, if you like to do that, you want to enjoy the view, stay here, get a table up there and set up something for you nicely. We can definitely do that for you, deliver your food right to your room. I fully love it. Hopkins Bay is definitely one of the places that you should check out. Um, they have everything that you're looking for and it is right on the beach. You can either go to the beach or the beach can come to you depending on the room that you choose. So if you choose one of the ones with the garden view, yes, you get to see the ocean, but if you want to feel like you are right on the ocean, you can get an ocean view as well, right? Well, um, the ocean view, yes. Um, some of the... So when, if you want a book, there's a beach view and a beachfront. Okay. So the beachfront is the one right on the beach. The beach view um, is the one behind the beachfronts. Now, the beachfronts are a little bit costly, a little bit more than what you would pay for a normal room, I should call the beach view. But uh, depending on occupancy, and we don't have anybody in those rooms and you want to access those, upon check-in, you can let us know. We can see how we can arrange that for you. You With might just no get cost. lucky forget it for the same cost depending if nobody is in it already that's correct you know that is the flexibility we love here and um yeah anything else you like to leave us with well no um just please uh, keep us in mind if you want a nice weekend Theo, I say thank you for stopping and sharing with us this morning. This is just so that you have an idea of all the places that you can go and enjoy your time. This is what it is. I mean, we're not stuck at home. We are privileged to be experiencing this time in our home and we can explore this country. And the Moyauno Resorts, they definitely have specials. They have three of them open right now. Um, they have the Hopkins Bay. In the first segment, you saw the Placencia. And they have... Um, Oceano Brisa Oceano Brisa Oceano Brisa Oceano in, Brisa Oceano, in, Placencia. in Placencia those are three options that you can look at uh, immediately and like I say they have good views they have clean spaces and you big rooms big rooms the food is exceptional you know you always it's not just the meal it is everything else that comes along with the meal so again to you i say thank you for stopping and sharing with us this morning and thank you for sharing with belize and the rest of the world a little bit more of belize you're welcome Ms. Randa. thank you I choose Happy Cow Cheese because of its perfect portion sizes and I can travel with it. Because it's nice and soft and creamy and it goes smooth for your bread. I choose Happy Cow Cheese because I eat it with my beans. I eat it with my fried jock. And you know why? Because it's nice. Most of all, when you're on a plane, you know they only give you some crackers and you can just take one out and enjoy it with Happy Cow Cheese. I'm Miss Baker and I choose Happy Cow Cheese because it goes well with all the stuff I bake. Happy Cow Cheese, 
Look for it in a store near you. Distributed in Belize exclusively by Emilio Ahmad and Sons Limited. Hello guys, welcome to Friends of Friends. Friends of Friends Outback. It's the ideal meeting place for any and everyone that's looking to enjoy a great mix of indoor and outdoor comfort while sipping on your favorite drink or eating that tasty meal. They serve all the best in local and international dishes. On Thursdays, it's Mexican night, happy hour all weekend. Fridays, it's wine and dine. On Saturdays, come relax with karaoke tunes and Sunday is family fun day. The property is equipped with games and other activities to keep everyone entertained and engaged. Friends of Friends also caters to weddings, conferences and private parties. Visit Friends of Friends at 46 Udrop Estate. Follow the signs from Mount 11 and a half Northern Highway. Friends of Friends Outback, a walking piece of heaven. p -Tech has been in Belize now for more than six years. We specialize in residential and industrial high-quality glass windows and doors. I'm Melvin Reimer from Discount Auto Sales. I chose P-Tech windows because I'm quite impressed about the way they're manufactured. These are double uh, pane glasses. They're called low E that keeps out a lot of the heat. Check us out at p-tek.com or give us a call at 671-3842. Me and my Murray shops in In Lake. Me and my Marie Sharp in Indiana. I'm in Rodonda Beach, California with my Marie Sharp. Me and my Marie Sharp in Kabul, Afghanistan. Me and my Marie Sharp that are hard for your England. Me and my Marie Sharps in Taipei, Taiwan. Marie Sharp, world class products produced in Belize. New Buildings Limited is the company of choice when it comes to design, fabricating, and erection of wide-span metal buildings in Belize. At New Buildings, we have a team of well-trained professionals that can produce the most innovative and durable metal structures. Be it domestic or industrial buildings, we can get it done for you. We have put together some of the most outstanding metal structures in the country. We also do estimates and consulting. Visit new buildings in Spanish Lookout or give them a call at 631-8723 or 610-5185. New Buildings Limited, the experts when it comes to metal structures in Belize. Did you know that it's best to keep the lumber stored in a dry place? At KT Enterprises, all our wood is stored in an enclosed space to provide our clients with the highest quality we allow you to personally select your lumber if you choose and we deliver countrywide be it deck board beams and imported hardwood such as red oak and white ash at kt enterprises we provide you with the highest grade in treated pine construction grade plywood and imported hardwood delivered to your door we continue to build bleeds by reforesting its pine forest visit us today at 2.3 miles Iguana Creek Road or give us a call at 671-0114 or 672-0114. Welcome now to the third and final segment of Morning Matters. We've now been joined by the operations manager for the Moyo Uno Resorts. His name is Ronaldo Malik. Mr. Malik, good morning and welcome. <laughs> morning, Rhonda. Thanks for having me. You know, after I've been to these properties, it's, it's absolutely a pleasure to have you. I mean, Moyuno has, I don't know, um, it has land and sea. I mean, you can, you can experience mainland resorts or you can experience island resorts. So first tell me, what does Moyuno mean? Well, Moyuno is actually a cross between um, Spanish and Hawaiian. So the, the Moy, you probably easily recognize that as being very. Um, and then the Ono, which has to be spelt with the apostrophe in front of it, is Hawaiian for delicious or tasty. So you could go very tasty or very delicious, depending on what the, uh, you know, the, the word is interchangeable. As far as I understand it, I've never been to Hawaii, or I haven't been as yet, but um, that's where it comes from. Well, excellent. Um, a lot of times we see these resorts and we don't see faces like yours representing these resorts. Um, tell me about the makeup of the staff at these resorts? Well, right now, um, from a Belize perspective, so Moyono is, is in itself headquartered in Austin, Texas. And Texas, uh, people may or may not know this, but they are one of the top five contributors in terms of North American tourists, overnight tourism to Belize. Um, so that's, that's, it's a hotbed of tourism for us. Um, but as far as Belize is concerned, where all the operations take place, we are 100% Belizean staffed here in Belize itself. And it starts from 
uh, if you if you want to at the top by myself uh, being the person in charge of operations and I do carry some PR and communication responsibilities locally in the country but for the most part it's uh, project management and uh, resort operations um, and and some day-to-day -day finance responsibilities as well um, and then you go down through the resorts and each resort has a general manager and um, all those general managers are again Belizeans and then as you go down through the ranks department heads, supervisors, team leads, all the way down to, uh, to different, your, 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 your uh, front of the house positions, um, front desk, housekeeping, landscaping, et cetera, boat captains, they're all Belizeans. So internally here in the country, it's, uh, the company is uh, top to bottom um, staffed by Belizeans. We spoke to the manager at Hopkins Bay and he explained to us how he moved up the rank. I also spoke to, this was off camera, of course, I spoke to the person that is in charge of your tours, uh, like your tour, operator, your tour operation, and she explained as well how she moved through the rank. So is this something that's customary in your company? Yes, it is. It's something that we actively encourage. We're always looking for diamonds in the rough. Um, there are very few people at the top. I, if you take... For instance, even myself, I came into the company in a different role, and then I'm actually on my third role with the company, and I've only been here two years and three months. So it's, um, it's something that is actively encouraged um, within, the, within the company, within the ranks, and I think that's what uh, makes our, or gives our employees a sense of belonging with the company because they know that if they have, any, if they have ambition, and it is that they want to expand their horizons and move up to through the ranks, so to speak, that there is going to be opportunities um, within Moyono itself. I think resorts like yourselves, um, a lot of times get, they don't get the right recognition for the contribution that is made. But I think in times like these, we recognize it even more when you still have people working, when you can put your staff to work and they, they don't only, um, it's not like they're only contributing to their home, but they contribute to the entire economy when you can get people to move and, and, and money exchanging hands. And that is what resorts like yourselves are doing, are doing during this time, considering that you have made it even more affordable for especially locals to experience. That's true, Rhonda. Um, unfortunately, when, when, when the whole COVID-19 dilemma started, um, I'm not going to say it came from out of nowhere, but I think that for a very long time, people in Belize just thought that it would not affect us, certainly not to the extent that it has ended up affecting us. Um, we, we have across all our different companies within the Moriona portfolio, we have roughly about 310 uh, employees here in Belize. We were able to keep on 68 of those employees full time. And then we've tried a rotational uh, schedule to get others in, you know, a couple days a week to to uh, earn some money, um, but unfor I mean, unfortunately, we see it all around us. We weren't, you know, we, we're just not really, I would say, satisfied with what we were able to do. We wanted to do more, and we keep trying to find out ways to do more. Um, I mean, and there are several different options that we could have gone with. Other resorts chose to just lock down, lay off the staff. We went with the direction of following the staff, which is just basically a method of giving them less days to work. Um, we, in 2018, started a staycation campaign. Um, and, that, and that is something that Moyona has maintained. We maintain that year round. So we always have lower rates that cater for Belizean travelers, for the, the Belizean, hashtag Belizean traveler as the BTV is, is marketing right now. We've always had that, Rhonda. One of the things that I see you're big on is conservation. When I go to these resorts, I recognize that there's no plastic, there's no straws. There's just a clean, healthy environment, including your organic garden. Yes. Uh, that's, a, that's a Moyono um, principle, or one of the values of Moyono conservation. Uh, we are trying to leave as minimal a footprint as possible. So any Moyono resort that you go to, uh, we don't uh, we we don't use straws. We don't have plastic bottles um, like you know. Normally, you check into a, uh, any hotel anywhere in the world, really, and you'd find complimentary water in your rooms. We we still do complimentary water, but we have nice 
uh, um, mason jars in your room. Depends on the resort you go to. Different resorts, have, I've given them the freedom to basically go to Mirab and select their style that matches their resort. Um, so we, we, it's, it's still distilled, it's um, water, it's crystal water, right? Um, but it's just that it's not in the bottle. We, um, and we have these water refilling stations around, around the resort that either you call for a desk to come refill it for you, or you, know, you can just pop right outside and refill it yourselves. But you're right, we, we're very heavy into conservation and uh, we try our best, like I said, not to, uh, to have a very minimal impact on the environment around us, whether it's the rainforest or the beach or the ocean or the reef. Um, we're all over, as you said earlier, so we have to make sure we, we're doing our best in that regard. Another thing that I enjoy, and I'm sure that the rest of people that uh, visit your resorts enjoy, is the authentic feeling of Belize. And you feel it through the people, the food, the activities. You feel very Belizean when you are in these resorts. How did you manage to tie it all together so well? Again, it's another, uh, it's, it's another staple of Moyono. It's another one of our values, celebrating culture. So what we try to do is, I mean, and it's everything, right? It's everything from your employees. You're, you have employees from Belize City. You have people from Orange Walk. You have from deep south in, in Toledo. You have people from Cayo. So it starts right there. And, and the moment you have that, that melting pot right there, then you're going to be able to draw on their experience, on the way they grew up, on, on their Belizean experience, if you may. And what we've done is, for instance, uh, on our menu, and, and I think you probably got a chance to experience our new menu at one of our resorts. And what we said, we had our new executive chef earlier this year, and what we said, listen, we want something that celebrates culture, is going to be recognizable to the guests, to the foreign, to the international guests, but at the same time, it's going to truly embody what it is that we know as being Belizean. So you find things like, for instance, you get your, your, your fish tacos that it has coconut shavings on there. It has cassava shavings on there. Um, you know, it's, it's, those are the things that we've tasked our chef. And it's still a work in progress, but those are the things that we've tasked our chef. And if, if you go around to our different resorts, you'll see different signature marks. We allow the resort each individual resort to come up with their little, their little thing um, that sets them apart from their sister resort. So you may go to one, one particular resort and the welcome drink is served in the coconut itself. Um, you know, so it's, it's, and everybody has their own signature welcome drink, things like that. But it's always some sort of Belizean inspired, whether it's the drinks or whether it's the food, it's always going to be Belizean inspired. That's what we're uh, aspiring to achieve. Well, you have achieved because I would imagine that everybody that goes there, even the Belizeans, we can recognize right away that the faces, like you said, the faces, the attitudes, the smiles, they're all Belizean to a different degree, but they embody Belize. Um, you are one of these, and I say you as Moyo, you know, um, you're one of these companies that give back a lot. Um, you give back a lot to different charities, uh, to different communities. Uh, what are some of the causes that you support? Oh my gosh, uh, <laughs> this is always the hardest part of any interview that I do because it's so, the philanthropy, our philanthropy program is, is really near and there. As I said earlier, PR is a part of, of, the, of my responsibility here in the country. So what we do, Rhonda, is that every reservation that we receive, we commit a dollar US um, from every night. And so, so it's a dollar US per night that we commit to giving away um, we also invite the guests to match us at checkout. We'll say, hey, you know, we're going to give, if it's just for argument's sake, say it's a, it's a three-night stay, we'll ask the guests, hey, do you want to give us $3 US uh, to match us? And then we, each resort has its own list. Um, so think about it. We have seven resorts. Uh, so that's 84 distinct charities or grassroots organizations that we're helping throughout the year. Um, and, and I want to stress grassroots. Because what we try to do is stay away from the larger organizations that, that have it easy fundraising, right? Um, and we want to help the, the, the lesser known people, the people that we know that are, are always struggling. So, for example, Dara's feeding program up in Belize City is one of, our, is one of the groups that we, we help, we've helped. Um, in Belmopan, um, um, I can't, uh, the name is escaping me right now, but there's a girl's home in Belmopan that's named after... Uh, Dr. Uh, Marla's House of Hope. Um, that's another enterprise that, that we help. Um, 
the King's, the King's Home on the Western Highway. We help them. There's the Kayo uh, Institute for the Deaf. We help them as well. Um, we like to work with schools because schools always have these really cool projects, these, these needs that they, that they want. And, and what, what we really like are the projects that we get to take employees to go do. So we've actually refurbished schools. Um, we've uh, you know, taken maintenance teams over and we've, we've changed doors, door frames. Uh, we took one school and we took down all their green chalkboards and replaced it with white, with white boards, um, you know, um, painted. Uh, we've built sheds at schools for, for kindergarten, uh, the little um, small kids to be able to have lunch and not be getting bounced around with the big kids in the recess yard. So, and we always take employees of the resorts and, um, and we, you know, go out there and do these jobs ourselves. Um, and, and that gives the employee a, a sense of participation Right, um, and so those are the things that we really, really look forward to. You know, I mean, we've do, we do that all over the country, as as far down as uh, Eldridgeville up here in uh, in Belize City, Placencia, Hopkins. We do it all over. So um, it's a it's a really, really fun part of the job, uh, to be honest with you. You know, and I bring up these questions because, especially now, when people are they have options to spend their money, but when you will spend your money or invest your money. Um, I would like for people to consider all the options because it's all good to go and stay in a nice resort on the beach or in the jungle, wherever you want. But it's even nicer when you can stay at a resort that's helping your economy to flow, that's giving back, that's contributing to the betterment. And we have to say thanks to the Moiruno uh, group for their participation and contribution. And look. Oh, you got one of our bottles. Yes. <laughs> And you know, I mean, I didn't have it earlier, but it just appeared right here next to me. And one of the things I love about it, though, besides the fact that it holds water, is that I can carry it outside of the resort. You know, now I can, when I'm on, in my car, I can have it in there. If, if I was to go for a walk or cycling or anything, I can definitely carry it along with me. So these are some of the cool perks, and your rates are outstanding. Um, before we go, though, I want to hear a little bit about your island resort. Ah, well, ah. We, have, we actually have ver several island resorts. Okay. Um, the, the, so Moyono was born on an island resort. Okay. The, the founder of Moyono came to Belize, fell in, absolutely fell in love with Belize. So this is a man that has traveled the world uh, and started in the hospitality industry in Hawaii, right? And comes to Belize. He's been all, I mean, places, done business in places like Cabo, et cetera, and comes to Belize and falls in love with Belize and says, this is the place, right? So he purchased an, an island, a very small island, um, about uh, maybe 10 miles off the coast, southeast of um, Dangriga. Um, and um, he was going to use it as a getaway, as a retreat for the employees of the management company that he, that he owns in the U.S. And then somebody got the idea, well, maybe we can make it pay for itself. Right. So they started taking bookings and, and then that started to work. And then from there, uh, as the story goes, there was another island roughly about maybe five minutes north of it that they used to go fill their scuba, scuba tanks. And one day they went by to, to fill the scuba tanks and the place was closed down. And there was a note left for the founder of Moyona say, hey, call me. <laughs> and he called and they negotiated. Uh, they came to terms and that's how he purchased the second island. And that one is Tachki. And a little known fact, Tachki features overwater bungalows. Half of the room inventory is actually overwater bungalows. So what you have is two very, very nice islands. They're, they're separated by about maybe five minutes apart. Um, and um, the experience is, is absolutely gorgeous out there. Uh, Tachki, for instance, is actually um, a gold standard when it comes to occupancy in Belize, in entire Belize. Uh, in 2019, Tachki uh, was able to get 73% occupancy for the entire year. Wow. Uh, and and that, so that, that's what makes it one of the gold standards. It has uh, 16 units. And before the COVID happened, we were having serious discussions about maybe putting up uh, about maybe four to six more over water bungalows. Of course, we have to go through the process. We have to get the EIAs, et cetera, and all of that. But um, we were, because at this point, we, we're pretty much always booked out on that, on that island year round. 
So it's absolutely gorgeous. I, I mean, I, I, obviously your invitation is, is extended um, and then we can, we go there and then we can make a trip over uh, down to see Royal Belize. That's our all-inclusive private island. What we do with that one, that one can host up to about 16 persons. Um, when it's booked, nobody else can be on the island. So if you book it for your group, we're not taking another book in for the days that you're going to be there. So it's you and the staff and the staff caters to your needs while you're there on the island. It's all inclusive. So it comes with food. It comes with drinks, uh, the full works. So um, that one I love to, you know, like I said, we got to hop you over and, and get you to Tachki and then hop you down to see Royal Belize. But those are actually the, our crown jewels. You know, Rene, I don't need any um, convincing, any pushing, any pulling. Just tell me when and I will be there. I like the resorts, but one of the things that I also enjoy doing is sharing it with Belize and the rest of the Caribbean. Um, because I think that far too often we, we neglect what we have. And we have the most beautiful places and spaces uh, that you can think of. And Moyo Uno has seven of them for you to visit. Uh, just when you think you couldn't afford a good vacation, now you can afford an exceptional vacation for, like we just say in a Creole, little or nothing. Anything yeah. you'd like to leave with us? Um, I would like to say to, to, to other, more on the, um, the tour destination operators in Belize, the resorts have come back up. Um, there is business. Belizeans are traveling. I'd like to say to those people that operate uh, zip lines and, and cave tubing, and river tubing, et cetera, all the, all the different delights that people literally pay thousands of dollars and flock to Belize to come see, I would encourage you guys to open up as well so that there's more incentive, there's more attractions that will get Belizeans to travel as well. I, I, I can unequivocally say to you after two weeks of being reopened that there is Belizean traffic, and I think that you guys should also come in, come back on board and, and open up and Trust me, I, people will definitely indulge themselves horseback riding through the rainforest down by the riverside. I mean, come on. Um, I, there's business to be done. I encourage you guys to open back up as well and, and, and give Belizeans a chance to partake of the breathtaking beauty that is Belize. Rene, I say thank you. People watching, I say start traveling and start traveling in Belize. Guys, until next time, I encourage you to take care of yourselves and each other. Have a lovely day. I chose Galen because of its strong reputation, great scholarships. I came because I can take all my classes online. Because Galen University opens doors to the outside world. Their course offering in tourism. It gives me more opportunity to become who I want to be. If you want to connect with your inner champion to make the world a better place, then Galen is right for you.